Hey Jade, time for guitar lesson part two. We'll use a different guitar today. Um, works the same. This one is a steel string, my other one is a nylon string guitar. They work the same, you play them the same. Uh, I'll start by tuning this guitar. That's the first note. I go to the fifth fret on that string, remember? to the fourth string I go back to the fourth fret remember perpendicular to the neck back here your wrist drop down so there's some space there between your uh, between the joint at your at your thumb you don't want to grab the neck tight like that you want to keep it nice let your wrist down bring your forearm forward on the thing the heel of your uh, your right elbow is on the the uh, fat part of the guitar back here keeping the neck slightly tilted up there's an E minor chord and then you shift, you keep that common finger, which is your second finger, your middle finger. That's common between E and C. Put down your third finger and pull back your first finger. There you go. E minor, C. There we go. Okay, and you can practice those chords. You just keep, stay on the E chord for a while. Change this C, you got your first finger pulled tight back there, your second finger stays where it was, your third finger goes down on the uh, on the A string at the third fret. Okay, and that gives you this C chord. E minor to C. And again, the, the, the song that I always taught with that as the, the first song to, to, to work on was Eleanor Rigby. Very easy song to play. You can, uh, if you're using a pick, I don't know uh, what kind of guitar you have. If you're using a pick, you can just strum back and forth. chord and you go see you can play that forever you can just fool around with it and uh, do all sorts of things uh, I thought I'd give you a couple more chords to work on and then we can do a bunch more songs if you learn a couple more chords here. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd try that today and give you something to practice for a while, okay? Um, and we'll talk a little bit more later on about the scales and, and, and some other things on the neck too. But uh, first, let me give you a, a couple more chords to, to work on. If you take that C chord that you had, you one, two, and three, okay? Remember your first finger is on the uh, at the first fret 
on the B string, which is the second last, the second towards the, the bottom of the guitar. Your uh, middle finger is on the D string at the second fret, and your third finger, your ring finger, is at the third fret on the A string, and that gives you the C chord. Okay, now, common fingers again. If you keep your first and second finger where they are, and pull your third finger back next to your second finger, so it's actually on the G string at the second fret. So it's one, two, and three. And that gives you a chord that's called A minor. It's very similar to C. The only thing that changes for that chord is the ring finger. That moves from here to here. It just comes back. It stretches down here to the A string at the third fret. And then you pull it back right next to your middle finger so that it's on the uh, on the G string at the second fret. I try and try and visualize these these chords as, as pictures in my mind. E minor is two fingers tight together side by side. C is three fingers stretched out. And then A minor is you pull this the ring finger back next to the uh, middle finger and your first finger. So you have sort of like a little, just a little triangle kind of thing there for A minor. Very easy chord to play. Go back and forth between A minor and E minor. common finger between those two chords also the second finger stays the middle finger stays in place and you rock around it so you got e minor with two fingers it's a minor with three fingers e minor a minor and just try and, and and picture that in your mind the same thing you can change easily and go rock back and forth between c which is three fingers sort of spread out across a line there and then you pull that back and you stretch them out I'm sorry you can't see my hand back, stretch them out, pull them back, and just keep working back and forth between those two chords and see how that goes for you. Doing that A minor to C, do an A minor to E minor, then do E minor to C, E minor to A minor to C to, you know, just, just uh, pick something in your mind, just play one of them, whichever one that's an E minor, okay, and then you say to yourself, I'm going to go to C chord on the count of four, one, C. So you're going to go to A minor on the count of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just, just keep working your way around the chords like that to just get flexible moving from any chord that you know to any other chord that you know. Okay, it's good practice for you, just a good finger exercise just to get from one chord to another. Uh, and the other chord that I thought I'd give you today is a G chord. Okay, now G chord has uh, no common fingers actually with what, well, I guess it does. It has a common finger with E minor. If you take your two fingers for E minor, the first and the second are at the second fret, okay? And if you move, if you keep that first finger there, okay, keep your first finger planted there. Take your second finger, which is the ring, I'm sorry, the middle finger, put it on the third fret on the lowest string. Now, when I say lowest, it's the lowest pitch. It's the one that's actually closest to, you, to the top of the guitar as you're sitting here. The first finger is where it was. The second finger goes in at the third fret. And I use my little finger on the third fret on the very high E string. And that gives you a G chord. E minor again, two fingers next to each other. Stretch out, put your third, I'm sorry, your middle finger there, and then your little finger all the way at the top. Now I gotta tell you, some guys who play the guitar do this chord one, two, and three. They use their third finger up there. I prefer to use my fourth finger, it just makes more sense to me to do it that way. But if you have a teacher somewhere down the line that says it should be one, two, three, then you have to adjust to what that teacher says, okay? Um, and that's the G chord. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. E minor. This time we'll go to C. Uh, 
G is a very useful chord. Uh, it works it, it, when you're in the key of C, you're often going to be playing the C chord and the G chord are both going to be in that song. If you're in the key of G, I need to teach you one additional chord yet. And I think I'll do that and, and that'll give you something to work on for a number of days till you get comfortable with the, with these chords. And then you can, you can play a, a billion songs. Uh, the chord is called D. When you're in the key of G, G is what's called your tonic chord. That's the most common chord used in the key of G. D is what's called the dominant chord. That's the second most common chord used in the key of G. So you got G and D, and then C would be your subdominant chord, uh, which is sort of like the third most useful chord there. The D, you picture in your mind a little tight triangle. Okay, you're going to use your first, second, third finger. First finger is going to go on the G string. Okay, remember E, A, D, G. It's the fourth string from the bottom of the guitar, okay? It goes on at the second fret. Then your second finger goes on the, the second fret at the uh, on the high E string, okay, the top string. And your third finger goes in between them at the third fret on the B string. So you got three fingers in a row there. And that's the D chord. Play the D chord. The only thing is you can't strike the low, we shouldn't strike the low E string because E and D are very close in pitch and they don't sound good together. So you just don't, normally don't play that low E string. There is a way to voice this chord so you bring your thumb around and grab that at the second fret and it gives you a note that works with the chord. But the only thing the reason I'm not going to tell you to do that is because that sort of gives you bad hand positioning. It, it gets you clutching the neck of the guitar, uh, and I'd really rather not do that at this point. So for now, you just, just remember when you're playing the D chord, you play the upper strings instead of the whole six string of the guitar. When you go from D to G, it's going to sound like this. Here's a D, and here's a G. You see, the G has that low pitch. Excuse me, Uncle Max hasn't played this guitar in 15 years either. <laughs> There's a D. You'll notice I'm bringing my thumb around there. That's it, it's. I don't want to say it's a bad habit, but for a beginning guitar player, it is a bad habit. Okay, once you once you get more more used to playing the guitar, you can you can shift your hand position a lot on different chords. For right now, you want to try and keep it down as much as possible. So you got G. You got D is tight here. You just want those three fingers in that little triangle. C is spread out. C is spread out like that. Okay. Uh, and like I say, when you when you when you've got those three chords, you can play a billion songs. You can do. When I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary is E minor, C comes to me, G, keeping, speaking words of D, wisdom, let it be C, G. <laughs> I didn't do that very well, but take my word for it. There's G. When I find myself, you go to the C chord. I'm sorry, you go to the D chord. When I find myself, now D, times of trouble, then E minor. Mother Mary, then C, comes to me in G. Speaking words of D, wisdom. C, let it be. Back to G. C, excuse me. has to practice <laughs> okay so that's a good chord for you to work on for today the G what I'm doing with my right hand here is I'm picking the strings I do a pattern where I go I put my three fingers on the top three strings of the, of the guitar okay the G the B and the E string I have the three fingers there and my thumb I usually play the lowest string and I just go thumb one two and three one Thumb, one, two, three, one, thumb, one, two, three, one, thumb. And 
you can practice that. You can practice that on uh, any of the chords that we're using here and just get that right hand doing a nice little rolling thing like that. It's good for gentle little songs when I find myself. Now, when you go to the D chord, again, remember, you're not going to play that low string. So I, I shift my thumb up and I try and get to the D string. My gosh, man. I think go to E minor so the thumb can go back down the low string and the C can stay on the low string or can go to the second string if you want you can really you know you're able to move that thumb around it's there's not really a rule that it has to be on this string or that string you can put it where, where it feels good uh, to you to do it and you know that's part about being a guitar player is you decide how you want the thing to sound okay uh, so there we have, uh, I guess we have uh, one, two, three, four, four chords. We have G, E minor, A minor, C, and D. We have five chords. Okay, G, E minor, A minor, C, and D. Um, and I can I can look and see if I have. I'm not sure if I have these written down anywhere or drawn you know pictures of them. I'll I'll try and send you something that that might make it uh, visually more make more sense to you visually if if, uh, if you look at how the chords are uh, I, if I, I'll do that I'll, I'll I'll make sure I do that and I'll send it to you um, and uh, I would practice those the other thing uh, I would practice uh, with the scales um, remember I, I told you you can wherever you start it when you go two four one two four one three four one three four two four one two wherever you start it that's the name of the scale so if I'm on the, the slow string is the E string, and I put my middle finger at the third fret, okay, on the E string, that third fret gives you the note G. It goes E, the first fret is F, second fret is F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. I don't know how much you know about, uh, about music where there are... Uh, white keys on the piano you know that some of the keys don't have black keys in between them and so there is no sharp for that note for for example between e and f there is no black key so we do not have a note that's called e sharp because the next note above e is f and we don't have a note that's called f flat because the next note below f is e okay it's I don't know how much of this you know. But anyway, if we start our if we start our scale on the third fret, that would be the G scale. We go G. If we'd start the the uh, scale at the fifth fret, that's A. A. We start at the sixth fret, that's the A sharp scale, or it could also be called the B flat scale. Uh, and all this may or may not matter to you or make sense to you. Um, depending on what you want to do as a guitar player. Uh, a good thing to, to practice, what I used to have my kids do when we would practice, is I, they'd put a pick in their hand and I'd have them play four notes, uh, or four strokes on a note. So you go A, So that's something you can do when you're practicing your scales if you want to. And again, that's that's just good for finger dexterity. It just gets your fingers moving, uh, and it, it works out uh, nicely for it. Okay? So I hope that'll give you a little something to practice on, Jade. Uh, and uh, like I say, I'll send you pictures of these chords so that you can 
you can visualize what they look like and you just keep working at them and trying to get your fingers comfortable playing them you will build up calluses on your fingertips when you play the guitar uh, and you need to keep your uh, left hand fingernails relatively short uh, that's something that's important the right hand it isn't so important because a lot of times you have to use those fingernails uh, to pluck the strings with but that's way down the road don't worry about it just try and have fun with the thing right now okay just see if you can make some music and I'll send you some chords okay and the C chord and the D chord excuse me there and the E minor all those different chords will come to be good friends for you. Okay? You have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.